Today, a building spanner in the works. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to this post covering finance and property news. Well, Metricon, the country's largest residential home builder and which credits itself as Australia's most trusted choice, has terminated dozens of fixed price contracts and have asked customers to sign new contracts for substantially more, according to a report by the ABC. Now, we of course know that across the country there has been a profitless boom for builders, thanks to poor government policy around home builder, rising costs, and all those other factors, of course. And not surprisingly, many builders are in difficulty. So, according to the ABC, this major home builder has also stopped paying some agents commission fees. And by the way, the ABC says that Metricon is the only builder to appear on the New South Wales Watchdogs Complaints Register this year. And they go on to tell the story of Pat and Peter McQuay, who were on their way to owning a forever home to see out their retirement. That was until the biggest home builder in the country gave them an ultimatum, cough up an extra quarter of a million dollars or your build will be cancelled. The grandparents were among dozens of Metricorn customers on fixed price contracts now forced to choose between paying painfully high prices or losing their new home and deposits as the builder struggles with soaring labour and materials costs. Metricon told the McQuays in February it would be terminating their contract but would still love to build their home if they agreed to sign a new contract with more than $266,000 in extra fees. That's a nearly 50% increase on the original agreement. If they refused, the company said in its termination letter it was entitled to and would retain all monies spent from their 5% deposit, which was $25,000. The company accused the McQuays of breaching various clauses in their contract, including not providing details of finance obtained from a lending body. However, the retirees dispute that, saying they told Metricon that they would be paying in cash, which meant they wouldn't need a loan. And they also said that the first they'd heard about this apparent breach was in the termination letter and they were not given the opportunity to rectify the issue. The couple have taken legal action against Metricon, but negotiations have stalled. I don't think we've got a decent night's sleep since this debacle began and we've been through the ringer, Mr McRae said. McRae has also alleged that the builder took 11 months to submit their development application to council. Termination coincided with the price hold promise contained in the Metricon contract expiring after 12 months before it automatically rolled onto unconditional. Neither term is included in the standard New South Wales Housing Industry Association building contract template on which the contract was based. If the build was delayed and couldn't go unconditional, the contract permitted the builder to issue a variation with a limited price increase. Alternatively, the builder could end the contract, provided the customer was found to have breached their obligations and construction hadn't begun. While customers have been left shocked, Metricon insists it operates within the law and according to the terms of our signed contracts. A small percentage of customers have incurred delays in taking possession of their land title, construction approval, DA approval, finance approval or other interruptions impacting timelines outside of Metricon's control, which has meant that their contract has expired before construction of their home has started, a spokesperson said in a statement. In the event that Metricon enters into a new contract with those customers, their price increase from their original contract to the new contract certainly reflects materials and labour price rises. Another Metricon customer told the ABC he was asked to pay an extra $150,000 on top of the price of the original fixed price contract. He offered to meet the builder halfway and pay $75,000, but after it was rejected, he agreed to the full amount. I didn't have the time to wait and go through litigation and keep fighting. I needed it built, he said. Frank Fan from the New South Wales Central Coast received a termination letter in March, three weeks before construction was due to begin on the investment home he wanted to build to supplement his retirement income. Mr Fan said Metricon demanded an extra $53,000 and was also accused of breaching his fixed price contract by not providing details of finance. He too was paying in cash 
out of his retirement savings with ledgers he was not given any opportunity by Metricom to rectify the apparent contract breach. I had it available and ready to submit on request, but they never requested it. Mr. Fain said, I just got this letter and bam, contract terminated. No exit path, no alternative options. It was just so bulldozed. Mr. Fain said Metricon refused to return his $24,000 deposit unless he agreed to sign the new, more expensive contract. And when he threatened to take legal action, he said the company eventually agreed to refund the deposit in full. However, the retired math teacher was still left out of pocket by $60,000, money he'd spent preparing his lot for the build, which required moving plumbing and electrical services. It drained me financially. It drained me emotionally. No one should have to go through this, he said. In a statement, a Metricon spokesperson denied its customers had been blindsided. After several weeks of consultation in exceptional cases, where a considerable amount of time has elapsed without resolution, a select number of customers have been sent a letter requesting a decision on how they would like to proceed, the spokesperson said. It's important to note that we are flexible with our deadline and accommodate reasonable requests for extensions. Metricron refunds deposits minus any reasonably internal and external costs that we've incurred in progressing the contract. Metricon is the country's largest residential home builder and credits itself as Australia's most trusted choice. Not only is it terminating fixed price contracts, but some buyers agents say they're not getting paid. In an email dated the 13th of June, the Melbourne-based arm of the company told agents all commission payments have been placed on hold for the time being and a week later on the 19th of June confirmed all agents' commission payments are currently on hold. No explanation was offered. One agent, who said she was owed around $80,000 by Metricon, claimed it was similar to what happened with Brisbane-based builder Privium, which stopped making the payment months before it collapsed in 2021. The agent told the ABC that 18 customers' contracts with Metricon had been cancelled in Victoria the past month and said that most were given just days to decide whether to agree to terminate or sign a new hire contract. One of their clients was told in an email to fork out an extra $21,993 for the house and land package that they'd purchased in Wyndham in Melbourne's outer suburbs. Metricon and the entire building industry has experienced unprecedented cost increases. This necessitates a price review on your build contract. To extend the current contract to October 2023, we require a price increase of $21,993. There is a five-day window in place to gain finalization around this. When they couldn't secure the finance, Metricon agreed to refund their deposit but kept $2,000 in unspecified costs, according to emails seen by the ABC. Metricon, which has 4,500 new home builds in its pipeline, again defended its actions, saying contract changes have been made solely to accommodate material and labour price rises. Now, I can't comment on this particular case, but generally my observation is this. It's really important to understand the contracts that you're signing. As Edwin and I have said over a number of our recent shows, people are walking into bear traps and then suddenly find that they've got no effective exit. Of course, there are lots of pressures on builders, and sometimes the contracts have to be recrafted because of changes of circumstances. But nevertheless, this is an object lesson in my mind that you need to be very cautious and careful if you're actually contracting with a builder to build, say, a home and land package. It might go right, it might go wrong, but just remember again, 50% of all failures in recent times have been in the building and construction sector. And that should be a warning to us all. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.